In today's video, we're talking about the, uh, the line on your golf ball and how uh, most likely it's not helping you. We'll fix that right up. Let's go. So thanks for tuning in, by the way. Appreciate all you guys. If you're looking for cool golf instruction that you can take right to the golf course, if you want to improve your game, hit better shots, have a lot more fun, then uh, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss anything and you stay up to date with the latest and greatest. As always, links for everything are in the description below. Today we're talking about this dang line. Ah, uh, oh boy. So let me just say this right off the bat. I think this line on the golf ball is an alignment aid and I believe in my opinion, it should be illegal. That being said, uh, it's legal, so let's use it to our benefit. So what we normally see with the line uh, on the ball is, you know, when you're putting and you line it up where you want to start the ball. This is great for practice, by the way. I love it for practicing. You line it up, you set your putter down, you, you know your setup right where you're, you're looking. You can line up the back of the putter with the with the back of the line so you know you're striking the middle of the, the putter and you hit your stroke, boom. And what's cool is when that ball rolls end over end, the, the thinner you make that line, the tighter it'll roll. Well, if it rolls super tight, the thinner it is, you, you don't want any wobble in the putt. And then you know your stroke is really dialed in. So that's normally what we see. It's great for putting practice, do it all the time, but there's other benefits to this beyond the green that we're gonna talk about, but what I see is everybody's doing it wrong or they're not maximizing the benefit of it. Come on. Oh, and uh, don't forget, uh, if you want an alignment stick cover, still have some left, link in the description below. I think everything else, Amazon, Prime, Amazon, Amazon Prime. Fair no expense for you. So here is how you can really utilize the line for your shots is, and you see it all the time, people also use this to line up on their tee shots. However, they set that line up exactly like they do their putts. That line straight on top, right? Straight on top. When I'm putting, think about this, when I'm putting, my eyes are directly over the ball. So I'm seeing the line here. Now I'm back here, I'm hitting a nine iron right now. Now that line is a little far away for me. So I might set up okay, but what I'm thinking, I'm reaching, I'm reaching for the ball. So when you put that line over there to align you, it's not like it was when you were directly over the ball. You're stretched out and it could cause you to come over the top a little bit and not hit the best possible shot. And I didn't, I came over a little bit. I pushed in that right bunker, no good. I didn't do that on purpose. It's just when you're looking at something and you train yourself to look, on top of the ball and then you do it on the tee box, what happens is you start trying to stretch out to get there and that's no good and it messes up your shot. So try this on the tee shot. Put the alignment directly in line with where you want to hit the ball. So I do that, boom. Okay, so what you do is you do this. You line it up like you normally do and while you're there, what you wanna do is you wanna tilt it towards you so that you're looking straight at it like this. Now that, that line is in plane with my eyes. It's the same plane now as when I was directly over the ball when I'm putting. But because I'm farther away, I need to tilt that ball and angle it more towards me. Now, you know what it looks like now? This is why you need your alignment stick cover. Here's what it looks like. When you use an alignment stick to line up, when you're directly over it, you're looking at the top of it. But your eyes, I'm not looking at the top of it now, I'm looking at the plane of it, the side of it, right now. You just don't realize it because it's all the same color. So when you're lining up your ball and you're using that line in this manner, tilt it towards you, and then you're just gonna feel like now you're a lot more comfortable, you don't have to reach for the ball, and you're gonna hit much better shots. That's a good one. So that's just with your iron. Now the driver, you gotta exaggerate it even more and uh, show you what happens there. So now with the driver, 
uh, especially on a hole like this, nice little tight drive, uh, things get a little dicey. So here's what you do. You get your line, this is where it really helps. You line it up where you wanna, where you wanna start. You tilt it in a little bit for your eye line. It's gonna be a little more than the, uh, the, the nine iron or different clubs because you're farther away. Everything looks good. And I feel comfortable and confident that I'm going to, that I'm aiming correctly. Club face, my line, everything's good to go. That was a good one, right where I lined it up. So here's a, another piece that can really help you as well. Uh, I wanna do this, but I wanna make some adjustments. I'm gonna line it up straight. I'm going to tilt it in to match my, to match my eye line my plane. Now, but I want to play a fade. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to aim it a little left, just a touch left. So that's pointed left, but I want to aim my club face straight now where it was. So I just, if I aim my club face directly with the line of the ball, I'm aiming way left. So now I know I can just open that up a little bit. It doesn't quite match and I'm set up, my, everything's set up with the line, the face is slightly open, and because I have the angle of the ball tilted towards me a little bit, I'm gonna come to the outside across it like this, play a nice little fade. That was a nice little cut shot, just like, uh, just like I had envisioned it. <sighs> These kind of things can really help you, but you gotta know how to do them correctly or you can get in really, really bad trouble. Obviously the line's not gonna help you here when you hit the fairway, unless of, oh, unless of course the line's perfectly aligned for you. How'd that happen? Hmm, just one of those lucky days, I guess. I put it there. It was here in the fairway though. I just, anyways, have a little fun. That is the secret behind putting the, the line on your ball, right there. Don't just put a line on your ball and set it upright every single time. Putting is fine. But the more away from the ball you are, the more to the side, the more you gotta tilt that guy a little bit over like this. And there's a little something you can do to help you with that as well, just as a reminder. One more, one more nugget for you, come on. So uh, one little piece that could help you is this. Once you put your line, all right, this is what you like to do. It's what I like to do. So I've got my putter, this is where I putt. Then what I do is I, I take a, another color, use the black here for this one, whatever, black and orange. And then when I'm hitting iron, I'm like, okay, I'm right around there. So I'm gonna put a dot straight up right there in the center, okay? And then when I'm hitting driver, we'll go orange. I know I need, a, so I need to be like, two more dots over. So what I can do is, when I'm hitting a, a, a driver, this dot's straight up in the air, the, the orange one. And when I'm hitting iron, the black dot's straight up in the air. Makes it a lot easier, a lot faster. So then whether you're hitting an iron, or a driver, you feel comfortable, you feel confident, you're lined up correctly, and you've got a little help from legal, legal things, even though I do believe they should be illegal. If that makes any sense at all, I don't know. But thanks for watching, hope this is helpful. I'm trying to help you use the tools that are available in the best way to make you the best player without going crazy. It's hard to do. Love you guys, see you in the next video.